Abiy Ahmed had been actively working to foster connections with U.S. evangelicals for years. His dream was eventually realized in 2016 when he had the opportunity to meet Senator Inhofe. During this meeting, he seized the moment to present himself as someone who had embarked on a personal journey to embrace Christianity, emphasizing his Muslim background and how he had discovered Jesus Christ. This narrative particularly captured the attention of the U.S. delegation. I met Abi for the first time in February of 2016 at a leader's breakfast where he told the story of his journey in faith in Jesus. Uh, very, very articulate, something that no one would forget about. We met again a year later where he... During Senator Inhofe's introduction of Abi in the Senate, he made numerous grandiose and factually inaccurate statements. Among these statements were claims that inaccurately referred to Abi as a medical doctor and hailed him as the most highly educated African leader, despite factual inaccuracies. By selecting a new prime minister, and who is this? His name was Abi Ahmed, a doctor, a medical doctor, a doctor. We took a cursory look at that, and we believe he is the most highly educated prime minister in the history of the continent. Now, here's a guy who's the highest, highest educated prime minister, we think, in the entire history of the entire continent of Africa. It's commonly known that Abi did not write his doctoral dissertation. Someone else wrote it for him. My name is Abi Ahmed. I'm going to present my PhD proposal. Abi's educational background has been a subject of skepticism, with notable concerns regarding the legitimacy of his academic credentials. Allegations of substantial plagiarism in his doctoral dissertation have cast doubts on the originality of his research and academic integrity. These doubts extend to gaps in his educational history, questioning whether he completed high school, attained a bachelor's degree, or successfully obtained a master's degree. The overall authenticity of AB's educational qualifications remains a topic of ongoing inquiry and debate.